you will draw a jar, that the cover is a large dome, and four small dome. Front view. Locks system. Lip cover to open the jar. Okay, let's get started. On the top plane, choose sketch, then create center rectangle. Set length and width dimension at 130 millimeters. Choose circle. Uncheck add dimension. Then create four circle in center line and edge. Make equal. Set diameter at 35 millimeters. Okay. Then choose Extruded Boss. Select the contours to be extruded. In this case, you don't have to trim the lines and arcs first. Set Depth at 5 mm. Draft Angle at 1 degree. Check Direction 2. Set Depth at 109 mm. Draft Angle at 2 degrees. Okay. Fillet radius at 30 millimeters. Click edge, then choose connected to start face. Click edge again, then choose connected to start face. Okay. Click this face, then choose sketch. Offset entities. Check reverse. And set distance at 6 millimeters. Okay. Then choose Swept Boss. Check Circular Profile. Set Diameter at 12 mm. Click Sketch 2 as the path. OK. Move Face on the bottom of body. Set Distance at 2 mm. Click Face. Then OK. Choose Shell. Then set Thickness at 0.8 mm. Click Face to remove. OK. Choose Draft. Click Face as the neutral plane. Then select Faces to draft by right click from one the face. Choose Select Tangency. One degree of draft angle. OK. On the right plane, choose Sketch. Then create line. Set dimension at 4 mm. And height at 4 mm. Four degrees of the angle. Sketch fillet radius at 1.5 mm. OK. Offset entities at 1 mm. Check Select Chain. Reverse. OK. Closest Line. Zero point five millimeters. OK. Choose Swept Boss. Click Sketch 7 as the profile. Right click, then choose Selection Manager. At this edge, left click, then click Tangent. Under Option, check Merge Tangent Faces. OK. On the right plane, choose Sketch. Create line. An arc. Set dimension at 0.35 millimeters. 
0.1 millimeter and 2 millimeters. Then choose Swept Boss. Click Sketch 8 as the profile. Click Edge, then click Tangent. OK. Under Option, check Merge Tangent Faces. OK. Create Sketch on the right plane. Show Sketch 8, then create Line, Arc, Center Line, Set Angle at 10 degrees. and 5 degrees width at 3 millimeters 1.5 millimeters 0 0.5 millimeters Millimeters of radius. Offset entities at 1 millimeter. Uncheck select chain. Check offset geometry. Tangent. Create arc. Then check for construction. OK. Tangent. Set dimension at 2 millimeters. And 0 0.35 millimeters. OK. Choose surface sweep. Click Sketch 9 as the profile. Selection Manager, click Edge, and click Tangent. OK. Choose Planar Surface. Right click, and choose Select Tangency. OK. On this face, click and choose Sketch. Create Circle. Make coincident. And make corridor. Then choose extruded surface. Reverse direction. Set depth at 12 millimeters. Draft angle at 2 degrees. OK. Hide this body. Press Control Toolbar on the keyboard, then click Front Plane and Right Plane. Choose Plane. Check Flip Offset. OK. Create Sketch on the Plane 1. Center Line. Offset entities at 0.8 millimeters. Uncheck Select Chain and check Offset Geometry. Reverse. OK. Choose Spline. 
Set height at 10 millimeters. Tangent. Drag down. Line. Then choose Revolved Surface. Click center line as an axis of revolution. OK. Knit Surface. Check Merge Entities. Select to Surface. OK. Press Control, then click Front Plane and Right Plane. Choose Axis. OK. On the Feature Toolbar, choose Circular Pattern. Select Knit Surface as the bodies. Four instances. OK. On the right plane, choose Sketch. Center line. Arc. Center line again. Arc again. Make coincident. Tangent. Set radius at 1.5 millimeters. 20 millimeters. Height at 13 millimeters and 36 millimeters. OK. Line. Set width at 4 millimeters. Twelve millimeters. Tangent. Right click, then choose Split Entities. Click in this point. Construction Geometry. Choose Revolved Surface. Click center line as the axis of revolution. OK. Hide axis. Choose trim surface. Mutual trim type. Select surfaces. Then select the surface to remove. OK. Choose planar surface. Right click on the edge, then choose Select Tangency. OK. Knit Surface. Check Create Solid. Surface Selection. But, sorry, any mistake. Go to Sketch 9. Click and choose Edit Sketch. Remove these dimensions to replace the measurement position. 4 mm. Five millimeters. Exit sketch. Choose knit surface. Check create solid. Select surfaces to knit. Okay. Full round fillet. Click side face set 1, center face set, and side face set 2. OK. Choose shell. Set thickness at 0.8 mm. Select faces to remove. Multi thickness face. Set thickness at 1 mm. Right click and choose select tangency. 
Show preview. Okay. Now, we add lock. On the right plane, choose sketch. Show sketch 9. Choose convert entities. Select arc and line to convert. OK. Trim to closest. OK. Hide sketch 9. Then choose swept boss. Click profile sketch 13. Right click, choose selection manager. On the edge, right click, choose selection loop. OK. On the right plane, choose Sketch. Create line. An arc. Set dimensions at 0.3 millimeters and 2 millimeters. Choose Swept Boss. Click Profile Sketch 14. Selection Manager. Select Group. Click Edge, then click Tangent. OK. Click this face, choose Sketch. Click Edge, then Convert Entities. Create Arc. Centerline. Set Dimension at 5 mm. OK. Choose Extruded Boss. Reverse Direction. Set Depth at 1.5 mm. OK. Edit Appearance. Clear Selection. Click Select Bodies. Set Color in Green. Select Cover. Keep Visible. OK. Click White Color, then Select Body. OK. Change Transparency. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope to see you again in the next video.